A machine that pumps out Jamba Juice. And this machine pumps out free chili. That's everything. theory of mine, but I genuinely believe this. I think you can supplement sleep with exercise. What I literally mean by that is, say you sleep eight hours a night. If you took two of those hours and spent them exercising and only slept six hours, you would be less tired and in general feel better. It is just a theory though. Candace is preoccupied today, so I think I'm gonna go for an afternoon run. Someone commented that the running part of my vlog is getting boring. So, in honor of that comment and whoever wrote it, Today's vlog will be dedicated in its entirety to running. <clears throat> Sunday morning long run. I'm gonna check in every couple miles. Let's talk about running. All right, first, Big picture, this is what matters and the body is just there to like keep this thing running, the brain. Big picture. This is the West Side Highway. This is where I run almost every day. Uh, it's lovely here. River on that side, city on that side. This is the one mile check-in and I feel great. I have not always been a runner. I ran cross country in middle school when I was like 11. I didn't really start running until I was 26, 27, 28, 28. What year is it? Still on the west side highway. Um, now I'm in Midtown, so I'm halfway up the island from where I was before. This is mile number six, and I feel great. I didn't start running till I was 28 because when I was 26, I was told I'd never be able to run again. Here's what happened. I'm gonna do this. Okay, so I borrowed Candace's scooter and I was driving down the street and this dude ran a red light and straight up just cremated the scooter and my leg. I was in the hospital for about a week. I was in surgery for like 12 hours. This is my busted up leg as soon as I got to the hospital. They had to drill through my leg with a drill to quickly put pressure on it, put it in traction to slow the bleeding. So when I was in the hospital, Right before they were gonna release me, I asked the doctor, how long till I'm 100%? How long till I run? And I'll never forget, he said to me, you'll be able to chase after your kids, and you'll be able to chase after a taxi cab down the street, but you'll never be able to run again. I cannot tell you how much that freaked me out. I was 26 years old, and being told that I would never run again, it was devastating, absolutely devastating. West Side Highway on the other end of this tunnel. Now I'm uptown. I'm coming into the island here. This is the eight mile check-in and I feel great. Okay, I found the footage. 
All right, so this is two years after I got to the hospital. This was, well, here. Just finished my first marathon, check out my feet. Those are my feet. This is gross. <laughs> You get the point. So my first marathon was a, an unmitigated disaster. I really like got beat up, I sat down, I was walking, my time was abhorrent. I hate doing something and not being great at it. Okay, this is the Upper West Side. That Central Park. I just ran across the Upper West Side. I'm now entering Central Park. Mile nine check-in, I feel great. Four months later, I ran my second marathon and I really got, I really got it together. Okay, this is the southernmost point in Central Park. That's 59th Street. This is check-in number like 10 and change and I feel great. Somewhere I decided that running wasn't enough and I started to really get into triathlons. Here's my favorite picture of myself running a triathlon. Just look at that intensity. Easternmost side of Central Park. That's Fifth Avenue there. Mile 12, and I feel great. Since being told by that doctor that I'd never be able to run again, I've run 22 marathons. I've competed in four Ironman triathlons, probably a hundred other triathlons and other road races, uh, and I never looked back. Okay, this is the northernmost tip of Central Park. That is Harlem. Check in mile 13. Still feel great. I made a movie a while ago for, for Nike about running. You should check that out. I'll link it there. Okay, now I'm back on the West Side Highway. Mile 16 and I feel great. I always prioritize running. I would definitely love another two hours of sleep. I'd love to get into work a couple hours earlier, but I make it a priority. This is mile 19 and I, honestly, I wish I'd had a little bit to eat this morning or even just a sip of water before I left the house. I feel like a Nancy saying that, so I can't get back. Mile 19, I feel great. After you run for a certain amount of time, you like completely forget about your body. It's in cruise control. A lot of the ideas for my work and my plans for movies, all of those were birthed as I was running. That was 21 miles at a 7.54 pace. I mean, I ran further. It's just that my tracking app crashed on me like three times. I use the Nike Plus running app and I do not recommend it. It's a terrible app that fails on you critically when you need it the most. Anyways, mile 21, still feel great. The trouble with burning 3,000 calories first thing in the morning is that it's really hard to replace those calories.